Hello year three and four, welcome to home PE. Today what we're going to do is we're going to basically cover the skills around throwing and catching. So you've received your worksheets from your school and what I'm going to do is show you the demonstrations to all the challenges from green to yellow to red so it's something for you to do at home now i must stress that if you are doing this indoors it probably would be best to use a pair of socks but if you are outdoors or you're in the garden then you would be okay using using tennis balls etc okay so first things first before we start anything just do a little warm-up so just want you to jump on the spot for me nice and easy jump on the spot that's it and when I say clap, I want you to clap your hands. So, and clap, and clap, and clap, 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 clap. Good. And when I say one, I want you to touch the floor with one hand. So, one, really quick as well, not really slow. And one, good. Now, if I say two, I want you to do two hands. So, uh, two, good. And let's link it all together. Clap, clap, one. Two, good, and clap, 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 good, and one, two, good, and let's now just uh, get our knees up, get our knees up a little bit, that's it, get our heart rate going, ready for a good PE lesson, I know we're in lockdown, so it's very important to keep active, that's it, and let's now start with some side jokes, go, That's it, keep going. Good, and back, back on the spot, back on the spot. And clap, 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 clap. Uh, one, good, and two, good, and stop, stand still, good. Should be breathing a bit heavier now. That's it, so bring our arms, step back a bit over our shoulders, so forwards, and then backwards. That's it, and just do some stretches for me, so one arm over and under, stretch your arm right across your body, good, that's it, and then the other way, good, okay, and let's do our shoulders, shake our arms off, so with our shoulders, we we'll need to shrug them up and forwards, and then backwards. Use your arms to help. Forwards and backwards. Okay. Forwards and backwards. And forwards and backwards. Now just put your feet slightly apart, shoulder width, hands in front, and clap, 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 clap. clap. And then lock them for me. And that's it. And then loosen them up. Good. Loosen them up. Going to be using our hands a lot today in this lesson. Okay, whether it be throwing or catching, so we need to make sure they're nice and loose. Add a little wave if you like, add a little wave. And now lock them for me, and then just step to the side, bend your knee first, and then push down on your bent knee. Hold it still. Three, two, one. And then see, so onto the other leg. That's it. Three, two, one. Good, and then just keep your hands locked and put one foot in front of the other, okay? And just lift your front heel up on your front leg, bend your back knee, and just put your hands on your back knee, that's it. Good, three, two, one, good. Okay, swap legs, that's it. Three, two, one, good, okay. And then shake your arms off. Shake your yeah, legs off as well, and then hands on hips, and then just do your ankles, cause so we don't get any twisted ankles, okay? That's it. Good. Okay, so nice and warmed up, so we're ready to start. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do the catching part of the lesson, okay? Now, what you need for this to start with is, a green, is either a small ball, or a pair of socks, okay? Either's fine, all right? Now, most importantly, when we're catching, is to make sure 
We have our hands, oops, we have our hands in the ready position like this, ready to catch and at all times, okay? Now, if you've got a sibling or parents, you can obviously do this in pairs. If you haven't, then I would recommend trying using a wall in the house, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. Right, so first things first, green challenge, okay? Nice and easy, hold a pair of socks in two hands and all I want you to do, just throw it up and see if you can catch it, okay? And let's see, just try and catch it, that's it. And then if, you can, if you're not doing it with a pair of socks, then do it with a ball. Just don't throw it too high, okay? Okay, if you're indoors, obviously you can't throw it too high because you're throwing it against the ceiling. Okay, good. And then if you're finding that very easy, then just start moving around. That's it. Two hands all the time. Always two hands. That's it. And if you find that very easy, then try and catch with one hand. Okay, try and catch with one hand. That's it. Good. Okay. Good. And keep moving around for me. Keep moving around. Okay, and let's now jog around now. So let's jog around. Jog around. Oops. There you see, drops it there. So you've got to always keep your eyes on that ball at all times. Always keep your eye on that ball, okay? Because if you take your eyes off it, you will end up dropping it. And I always say to my pupils when I do catch it, keep your eyes on the prize. And which, in this case, it's the ball. Okay, so let's keep going. Keep jogging around. That's it. Keep jogging. Keep jogging. Good, good. Okay, well done, boys and girls. So that's now the green challenge. So let's now go on to the amber challenge, okay? So it's gonna get a little bit harder, okay? If you're still doing the green challenge, that's absolutely fine. Just move on to the next challenge when you feel ready. Okay, so for the next challenge, it's a is the amber challenge. So I've got a few cones, okay? If you don't have cones, then just find some markers or something in your house. It's not a problem, okay? And what I'd like you to do is then yeah, just put, oops, not sure if you can see them, there we are. If I just put one, one there, a blue one there, just move that back a bit, uh, a yellow one there, and yeah, I think, yeah, we'll stick with them, we'll stick with three, to, so we'll stick with three to start with, okay? So, I've got a yellow one, a blue one, and a red one, okay? So, when it comes to catching, okay, if you are currently in pair, if you've currently got someone to throw the ball to if you to catch, then that's okay. But for me, obviously, I'm currently by myself, so I'm going to have to use a wall to help me, okay? And this challenge is quite simple. It's basically on the move, and catching so and what that means is is i would have i would pick a cone and then i would throw the ball against the wall and try and catch it with two hands okay if you've got somebody with you then you would get them to say you'll get them to say right go to yellow you move to the yellow and then and they throw the ball at you and catch and you try and catch it okay all right so let's try let's show you a demonstration so red i go to red against the wall and i catch okay and go back in the middle and say yellow go to yellow good and then maybe say go to blue okay try not hit the mirror that's it good okay and that's a little that's a little demonstration there of the amber challenge now if you want to make it more challenging and more physical what you could do is this is where you you could get run on the spot and then your partner could go red and so you have to run really quickly and then back into the and then back into the middle okay yo that's it Good, and then back into the middle, that's it. And you could do loads of different exercises here. You could say, star jumps for me. So you could do star jumps, that's it. And then you could go red, yellow, ooh, that's it. And then really, really improving the reactions there. Okay, and that is how we do our amber challenge, okay? Now, if you want to make it, once you've had a bit of a practice and you want to make it more challenging, I would suggest to beat the clock where your partner, or if you're by yourself, get a timer and see how many times you can 
throw the ball against the wall or receive the ball from a partner and see how many times you can catch it. Okay, so that is the amber challenge. Now, for the red challenge is where we need to do it in a combination. Okay, all right. Oh, just quickly, for the amber challenge, you have lives, okay? I can't remember, if, can't remember off the top of my head how many lives are on the worksheet, but every time you drop it, that's a life gone, okay? And you keep going until all your lives are gone, okay? Right, anyway, back to the, uh, back to the red challenge. So, this is where you have to do it in a combination. So obviously I've got to use a wall because I don't have a partner with me at the moment. Now, this is how the combination works. So, you throw the ball either against the wall or you throw or you um, receive the ball from a partner. Okay, so what you do is this. The first one is two hands, okay? The second time you do it, you catch with your strong hand and then the third time you do it, you catch with your weaker hand, okay? So three combinations. Two hands, strong hands, weak hands. Now, if you're able to do that successfully, then what you do is you go, you up it by one. So, this time, as I, I've just done the demonstration there, we're all just doing one of each. I've now got to try and do two of each. So, here we go. Get in the zone, eyes on the prize, and let's go. One, two, so that's my two-handed catch done. Now I've got to try and do one-handed with my strong hand first. Oh, okay, I dropped the ball there, you see? It, can, it happens to the best of us. One, two, good, okay. Now I've got to try my weaker hand. Ready, one, two, there we go. So there is two, all right? And that, boys and girls, is how we do a red challenge, okay? Now, I did forget to mention that my cones are obviously a bit further away because I'm obviously trying to get them on the camera. If you need to move your cones a bit closer forward to help you, then that's absolutely fine, okay? But as you uh, progress with that, try and move them back. And try and make it a bit more harder for yourselves, okay? But remember, don't be just standing still and catching. It's very important. Uh, it's very important that you learn to catch while you're on the move. Okay, so that's why I did um, a little demonstration there of how to make that work. Okay, all right. So that's uh, the catching part of the lesson. So hopefully that will give you plenty to be getting on with. And now I'm going to go on to the throwing part of the lesson. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, so we're now going to go on to the throwing part of the lesson. So the objective is to develop different ways of throwing. And the best way to do this is to play a game called Battleships. Now, Battleships is a really fun game because it really challenges you and also it gives you, really keeps you on your toes and keeps you thinking of what best ways to throw. Now, Usually when we play battleships, it's usually team games, but as we're in lockdown, we've got to adapt it a little bit. So it can, it can be done. So if you're by yourself or you've got a sibling or your family member, it's all we can still do this. So as you can see, okay, what I've done is I've set up some different shapes. So I've set up like a square, a triangle and a line. So that are three different battleships there for me to aim at, okay? Now, it's very important to say that if you are indoors, it's probably best you use a pair of socks for this challenge. If you're outdoors or in the garden, then I, I would say then just use, use a small balls or anything that you can find, okay? So, rules of battleships are quite simple. Aim of the game, quite simply, is to use different range of throwing. It could be overarm, underarm, chest throw, over your head, whatever, to try and hit the, to try and hit the cones. Now, if you are successful and you hit one of the cones, all right, what you do is then will, you will then turn up you will turn up that um, cone, because that cone's then being hit, okay? Now, what I always say in this type of game is that for every cone that is bit has been turned, it's a, point to, it's a point to you, okay? However, if you then sink, if you get all the cones from one different section, so whether it be the square, the triangle, or the line, oh, you can make loads of different shapes yourself. You don't just have to use what I've just done, okay? 
then you would get five points for your for yourself okay so as i'm currently doing this by myself all right I, i'm in a challenge with myself so the best thing for me to make it more challenging to make it challenging for me is to put a clock is to put a clock on okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a one minute challenge i've got five pairs of socks i'm going to throw the five pairs of socks for every one i hit and then i'm going to turn i'm then going to turn them up okay and let's see if i can sink all three battleships in within one minute okay so just turn that back up okay come over here a little bit so you can see all right so just get my uh Get my little, um, let's see, get a little clock on, get a little clock, there it is, timer, so one minute to try and hit as many codes as I can and try and sink as many battleships as I can. Are you ready boys and girls? Three, two, one, off we go, right, here we go. Uh, Go for that one. Ooh, miss. Uh, yes, hit that one. One. Ooh, miss the blue one. Miss that one. Oh, right. Okay. So turn that cone up. Uh, get the rest. Get all my get all my socks and I go again. Right. Let's go. Oh, yes. Hit that yellow one there. Yeah, that blue one there. That red one. Uh, oh, and that yellow one. Okay, so hit that, hit flip them two up, flip that red one up, and I think it's that blue one, that red one, yeah. Okay, keep going again. Right, probably get one time for one more go each. Uh, go for that yellow one. Yes, that's a battleship sunk. Oh, that blue one. Okay. Uh, oh, miss. Uh, okay, let's go. Sink that one. There we go. Ooh, try again one last time. Oh, hit that blue one. Oh, time. Right, so, so that blue one. So, boys and girls, there, I managed to sink seven cones, which, so that is seven points. But, however, as I managed to sink a one battleship, that's but a bonus, that's a bonus point. So, that is now eight points in total so now boys and girls you can either do that against each other or you can then challenge yourself you can then challenge yourself and see if you can do a challenge like i did and see if you can beat uh, see if you can beat your previous score okay really fun game to do and I wish you all the best i wish you all the best with it one suggestion i would have, I just thought now is maybe maybe start with the cones flipped like that and then maybe then maybe if they're flipped like that at least then when you you hit them at least then when you hit them you know you've definitely hit them and there can be no cheating okay and that's how we play battleships now mainly there i use overarm and underarm throwing okay depends where you are depends how far away you are from each other but it's a good game for you to to be cracking on with so thank you lit year three and year four for taking part today and i'll see you next time for another home p lesson okay have a good day